Hello YouTube, welcome to the first ever episode of Deus Ex. It's finally here, I've waited so long for this game. I used to play this game, actually I used to play the second game all of the time on my, fa uh, uh, yeah, my father's PC. This game is the shit, regardless if it's the first or second one, they're all, they're all great. I love them all, I will play them all of the time. Um, I can't get the... I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a crosshair. It's, it's really weird. I'm playing in a window, and that's probably why. Okay, moving on. So let's, uh, let's start a new game. And uh, I think that... Oh, god damn it. That, that, Alright, this is fine. We, we can do training. I figured you'd be sick of drills by now. Hopefully our training exercises will be more interesting than what they've had you doing at the okay. academy. I do have to change Open the door control. by clicking the right mouse button. The right <laughs> button uses items in the world. That's fantastic. The so key on the desk opens that, encryption based that. nanotech locks. When you pick it up, it will automatically be added to your key ring. Use the key ring to unlock the door and proceed to the next area. Jeez. I definitely do have to change. You're going to get a lot of equipment during these exercises. Press F1 at any time to access the inventory screen, which will let you add and remove items from the tool belt. Press F2 to view your current goals and any notes you may decide to take. On a typical mission, a UNATCO agent's objectives are logged electronically so that he can stay on tap. Now pick up a weapon and try to break open those crates. Wow. One of them's indestructible, but the others contain things you might find. Now pick up the lockpick and use it to open the oh, door. That's what I have to do. Lock picking takes time and expends the self-assembling resources of modern lockpicks. Just be patient and remember your training. At higher skill levels, yes, you won't need as much time or lockpick resources to I'm gonna wait till he finishes talking. Doors have two strength values. The door strength tells you how much damage the door takes before being destroyed. The lock strength tells you how many lockpicks oh, will be required to pick the lock. Have to have Some doors depth. have an infinite strength and an infinite lock strength. That All means right, you have to so find... So, basically for this you have to remember... The code to the door has been stored in that data cube. Right click on the data cube to read the contents, then type the code into the keypad. You activate the keypad with the right mouse button. Just like you activate a data cube or any other. Alright, before I got rudely interrupted, um, basically what the data cube is, is, you know, it gives you information and shit like that. But then you have to come over here and remember what it said. Otherwise, if you don't, which I think is you have to remember. Otherwise, um, if you type in the wrong code. I think it locks you out for a certain amount of time. Use the disposable multi-tools on the table but to hack the keypad up ahead. Remember, a multi-tool's resources are finite. When a tool is depleted, it becomes okay. useless. The manual okay, describes know. other uses for the multi-tool. At higher skill levels, Actually, you'll need and less time and multi-tool resources to hack a given device. Alright, so that's that. I feel like this is important because um, it said I saw Liberty Island. I, that's the first mission. Basically, the first mission. Sh Jesus fucking hell! <laughs> I kind of scared. I'm here me. to pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation, <laughs> Agent. You're welcome. Oh, before I forget, I have to change my keyboard. The way I crouch. Because I don't think you can run in this game. So I'm trying to find it. Um, change it to shift. And then... Uh, lean. Uh, leaning is very important in this game. Um, I feel like the load is somewhere in here. Semicolon, fuck that. Change that. Um, toggle scope. Left bracket. Um, 
shit. Um, I think... Uh, where the hell is left bracket in, in the first place? Alright, we'll figure that, figure that out when we get there. I'm going to save extremely quickly. So, Alright. So now it's shift. Lying in front of you is a brave cadet who volunteered to be rendered unconscious for this next training exercise. Highlight and search him to find the key to the medical room. Afterward, pick up his body and place it on the medical table so that one of my aides can revive him once the ex- I don't like picking up uh, dead bodies or unconscious bodies. Good work. It slows you down I'll get someone bit, down there immediately to revive I mean, Private Winslow. If it's an Move enemy, on to the next area. And uh, you're in the line of sight, then it's a Great to move on. You can bet this won't be the last time we send oh, you into a dark room. Turn on your light augmentation <laughs> and find the exit on the other side. Just press F2. Hold on. I have to change something extremely quickly. I hope that you guys do not see this. And even if you do, then it doesn't matter, I guess. Can I... What the hell? Alright, I'm gonna have to... Christ. Oh, there we go. Um... Screenshots will be... No, not backspace. <laughs> uh... And I don't think I have anything for that. Okay. That's good. F12 again, and I forget exactly how to do this. And then turn that off. Perfect. How do I turn off? You're not a mech, but you're enough of a machine to need repair buffs now and then. If you used up some bioelectric energy okay. getting through the dark area, for example, this <laughs> contraption can charge you back up. Oh wait. Some people forget this here. Yeah, there's a uh, 10 million. Congratulations, you completed here. phase one. I think it's there. Move over the, the ramp point. into the next rooms to begin learning movement not really sure. I don't really We'll be watching you through the cameras, the like the one you can see up in the corner. Set, uh, in the field, remember that terrorists that sometimes use cameras like this in their security uh, grids to set off alarms and alert guards to your location. Jump across the platforms. You'll have to crouch to get under those pipes. If you fall, press these stairs to begin again. You need to go through the door up ahead, but it's blocked. Those wooden crates are too big to jump and too heavy to lift, so use the metal crates near the wall to build steps. To pick up a crate, walk up to it so that it highlights, then click the right mouse button. To drop something you're holding, you can press the tab key by default. Thank you. What the hell? What did you put in these? Oh my god. Who are you talking to? YouTube? I was recording a video. Well, I am recording a video. Hi, YouTube. That is my sister. Thank you for <gasps> rudely interrupting me. <gasps> Very hard to play with one <gasps> hand. You know that. Phoebe, you remember this game? <laughs> <laughs> now, go up the ladder really at the other end of the room. By default, you look up and use the arrow keys to climb. Hmm? I'm going so because I'm up. Jesus Christ. One second. Um, I'm going to because I'm not playing through this, uh, through this part again. I mean, I guess. We get some complaints about this swimming this obstacle really because the water's contaminated. Like Recruits forget to grab the hazmat suit and end up in my yeah. office. Not praise. Or they forget that they have to put the suit on M &M by selecting it and pressing the left mouse button. Remember that the hazmat is disposable. 
You can wear thing. it only once, and it operates only for a fixed duration. Use the ramp on the other I'm, side I'm of the board to climb out. Just rudely interrupted me. I'm kidding. I love my sister. She's, she's, she's pretty awesome. I think this lasts a while, so... Oh well. Really good. I like them. interest to you, JC, because you need a bot's help to install new augmentations. If you took any damage during the swim, now's a good time there to get go. patched up. I'm sorry if you can hear my chewing. These are really fucking good. Hand in your equipment. That's right. No cheating. <gasps> You're a batch. You aren't done yet. Wait. Oh wow, I didn't even... You know, I thought I fucking... Alright, whatever. Welcome to the combat training see. area. I am Günther Herman, and I will be monitoring your progress here. We will start with weapon familiarization. Oh. <laughs> your first exercise will be to learn a little about aiming and targeting. Step up to the shooting range to the west. Uh, I think this is where it's going to become a problem. The targets are released by using the buttons on the counter. Release the first target and take a few shots with one of the pistols until it is destroyed. Notice the targeting reticle appears when you aim at a target. Uh, but crouch. I'm just going to pick up all these pistols because who the fuck cares? And actually, I think it's F1. Yeah. Um, the unfortunate thing about this is they're not actually individual. They're all like you have to like manage your in inventory in this one. I think in the second one it's different. So. There we go. Good. If you hold your aim for a few seconds before firing, you will notice the reticle starts out oh, wide and tightens as piece. you hold. <laughs> <laughs> the longer you aim as a target without moving, the greater your accuracy will become. Oh, Release the second target and aim before shooting this time. Shit. Boom, headshot. That wasn't a headshot. Good work. Now proceed to the next area. I'm here to pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation. You're welcome. Jesus. This is a rifle range. Here, you will learn one of the ways skill level makes a difference in your accuracy. Step up to the shooting range. The targets I are released those, um, using the buttons on the counter. Hit the guys, Release the first target and destroy it with the rifle. I'm not, I'm Use the rifle scope by pressing the left bracket key to turn the scope on. Yeah, alright, so this is gonna become a problem for me because I don't even know what the left bracket key is. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a. Uh, fucking. Toggle scope. Toggle laser. I think. There we go. Alright, I think oh shit, I need to pick up both of them. Excellent. Oh, now we are going to raise your skill with rifles to master level. Release the second target and destroy it. I love the way he talks. 
Well, holy goddamn. As you can see, higher skills give you better range, accuracy, and effectiveness. Proceed to the next <laughs> area when you are ready. I am always ready. I do like Hand that. in your equipment. Uh, That's awesome. right. No cheating. This is the demolitions training area. First, you will learn to awesome. use the lamb as a proximity mine. Approach the bay window and you will see a lamp placed on the target board on the black and red wall. Oh, trademark color. Press the first button oh, next way. to the window and a security <laughs> button will be released. Uh, just in case Watch as he nears the lamp. Lamps placed on the walls are proximity track. I've been extremely busy like this past few weeks, so that's why I really haven't been uploading. Um, but I'll, I'll explain it in a second. What was I supposed to do? This time you will place your own lamp. Take a lamp from the uh, munitions bay and proceed to the red and black wall below. Actually, you know what? I'll finish that. I'll finish the training. I'm just gonna take all of them, because who the fuck cares? Um. Get as close to the wall as possible uh. when you place the lamp. <laughs> if you aren't close enough, the lamp will fall to the ground and detonate. Usually I place like seven more. Right? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Very good, Agent Tenton. You may proceed to the next area for more demolitions training. I didn't lose any health? What? I didn't lose any health whatsoever. You'll need a few extra lamps for the demolitions area. Here, catch. Thanks. I got four. Next, you will need to breach the doors in the hallway. Throw a lamp down to the end of the hall. Oh, Once it blows, it. proceed down the corridor. Notice how the wooden door was destroyed and the metal and barred doors remained. Remember this for future reference. Thanks, man. Beyond the destroyed door, you can see a damaged piece of wall. You can also breach with a lamp. Try that now. Wait, I'm gonna... Oh, shit! Excellent. I didn't realize it was gonna Notice that the wall is opened. Look for other weakened walls such as this, and your lamp and other explosives will allow you to breach them. Continue through that breach and on to the next section. Gotta start the next section without arms or tools. Rules are rules. And uh, not fuck this next part. The area beyond the door is the grenade defusing facility. Here you will learn how to remove planted explosive debris. Right. At each Jesus of the corners Christ, of this area, talking. you will find a lamp planted on the wall. You must disarm and remove all four lamps before you can proceed to the next section of training. You will need to move up to the lamp quickly. And to defuse it by right clicking. Boom. A second right click. Fucking welcome. Uh, I don't remember how I did this one. There we go. A word of warning, Agent Denton. This was a simulated experience. Real lamps will not be so forgiving. You may proceed to the next area. Thanks, ma'am. Um, forget what I was gonna say because I got weakly interrupted again. Um, Jesus Christ, my my poor left leg. Oh my God. <laughs> Health is very. And in your equipment. That's right. No cheating. Like it's very rare for anybody to find uh, health. Uh, I think. Now you will learn to move quietly and conceal yourself so that you will be able to avoid the confrontation altogether. The test is simple. Get 
into the far north door without being spotted by the guards below. If one of them sees you, he will sound an alarm and lock the door. Alright. Um, let's see what the data cube has to say. I can, I'll leave that up for a minute if you want to pause the video and read all of that because I'm way too lazy too, because that is too much. Post in the comments like what you guys Remember, think so don't far. Don't let the guards see you. Do Use the crates for cover and crouch when you move. Um, I'm gonna continue the series no matter what. I'm gonna play the like all the games. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, I forget his. I know I saw somebody. Always no. remember the four basic <laughs> tactics to avoid detection. Crouch behind concealment. Stay behind enemies. Move slowly to avoid making noise. And use shadows Fuck to conceal me. yourself. Be alert to every possibility. I gotta go back up and fucking reset. You blew it. The Shut alarm just closed the north door. Return to the control room to the south and press the button in the overlook window to restart the test. Nice. Shh. God damn. Now I can fucking hear myself. Alright, I think I reset it. I'm not sure. Um. Yes, I reset it. Alright, so I'm gonna go this way. I have to wait for this guy to go back around that way. Are you for real? Yes. Okay. I was like, like, he turned the corner. Like, what are you doing? Perfect. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna... Very good. I hope you remember this. Plus an agent. They will have signed us to new partners. And, yeah. Settings. Sound. Okay, I'm sorry, I keep going. I spill my drink! I love this. Uh, I'm sorry, I keep going back and forth between settings and stuff like that. Now for the last test. You have to find a way across the river to the exit on the other side. There's more than one way to get there, depending on your approach and the skills you want to use. It's up to you. Make use of the IFF system to identify enemies. The crosshairs will highlight red over enemies, green over allies, and white over neutrals. Alright. Can I can I save now? Thank you. Alright. So he's evil. I don't remember. Exactly what to do. Alright, I got a crowbar. So, let's see if we can get something out of these boxes. No, of course not. Wait, what? No. Shit. Shit. He's still walking that way. Let's go this way. I don't remember how to get over the river. This is where I usually stop. But I'm gonna try and make this part quick. Or as quick as possible. You know, I'm probably gonna die. Fuck you! Nine, virtually. 
Deutschland. I think. I think I have to get to that. And that uh, bridge will drop. But that fucking real guy is fast as hell. Got a pistol, but not hell. I'm gonna stay behind here for a second. Oh, I do have a little six. Okay, that means I can shoot those barrels. Wow. Ironic. Oh, well, fuck me. I legitimately cannot stand this part. Where's... Christ. Can you find you? Boom! I lost my legs. <laughs> it was worth it. Okay. I, I don't I don't know. This is gonna be really difficult because I lost my legs. <laughs> I was not expecting to like have my legs broken. that actually did happen before they just like I can't even jump now I think these do yeah they do but I don't think they contain anything and even if they do oh here we go this might contain something yes oh my god thank you I wish I would I have fucking legs now. I hope I don't die eventually, because that would suck. Yes. Okay, cool. I wonder what my body actually looks like. It's unfortunate that you can't go into third person view. I didn't realize, like, this game, this game is extremely different because it has so much, uh, like, involved in the, into it. I, I always love playing the Deus Ex series. It's extremely fun. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> um, I, uh, don't mind me for a second. Shut the fuck up. I hate, I hate living on Step up to each hologram for more info. When you're through, go out the opposite door. Okay. I love, I hate living on, um, a main road. I live on, um, one of the bu busiest streets, uh, in my town, which is very unfortunate. The NSF, the biggest terrorist threat in the U.S. This national militia group thinks it is fighting the second American revolution. I didn't realize this was here. A deployment of UNATCO troopers is the central component of all UN peacekeeping occupations. I think that UN stands for uh, United Nations. I'm not really sure though. This sucks. Fucking not having legs. An inexpensive security bot. A favorite of third world countries and corporate security divisions. Not so mobile, but don't be fooled. We've lost plenty of agents to its well-armored assault gun. Like other bots, it's difficult to damage with ordinary bullets. Yeah, I found that found that out the hard way. That fucker. Right there. 
This page industry's walking turret, marketed to governments worldwide, is the workhorse of most national military forces. Due to the heavy armor, they take little damage from ordinary bullets. If you come up against a bot, you should use an EMP grenade, scrambler grenade, or some kind of explosive. Would have helped if I had been given uh, one of those. Uh, I think that's one one of my brothers. I think. It's the coalition's new nano augmented agents are nearly indistinguishable from the general know, population, except that you and your brother don't know how to smile, even for a picture. Oh well, shit. Yeah, I think I only have one brother, and worse, uh, augmented. But this is the old augmentation technology, hopefully about to be phased out. Notice the reliance on electronics and servo mechanics, a maintenance nightmare. If I had two credits for every repair manual they made me file in my office in the med lab... <laughs> just stops. Um, but yeah, me and my brother look like that in-game, of course. Sufficiently impressive and early success for the whole organization. Thanks. You from the United Nations? Your augmentations are a go. The real test comes next. Active duty. I'm ready, sir. I didn't yes. press anything. Yes, you are. I don't know why I got cut off. Alright, so... I think once we exit this door, that'll be the end of uh, basic training. Yeah, that's the end of basic training. Um, and that is also the end of this video. If you enjoyed... Oh wait, I forgot. I have to explain one thing, which tomorrow I will be going into more detail about it. Hopefully, in a blog. Vlog. Um, I did post something on Twitter. My Twitter link will be in the description for like, the next video. Like, in the next video. I'm not doing that. Um, but this will be uploaded probably while I'm doing the vlog. Um, but yeah, I've been extremely busy. I'm sorry, I actually got yeah, ground to it. Because <laughs> uh, the whole school situation, I'm not very good at school. Um, like, I'm good at school. I'm good in school, not good at school. general thing. Like, I don't, I don't have good behavior. It's just a long story, um, and everything will be explained more in depth in the vlog tomorrow, which I hope that I'm going to be able to do tomorrow. Um, Chris, what else? Uh, me and my friends, and, well, me and my cousin, his friends, um, we might be working on something. I don't know what, probably Gmod, or, uh, Something I don't really know. Uh, I'll actually touch base with him. Probably do one day. Cause I have a lot to do tomorrow. Um, I'll probably message him. Tomorrow, but uh, regardless, I don't really want to ask for it. I don't really know. And I was also working on software. Uh, it's becoming more of a big project now because it's been taking me like weeks on end like that's why i really haven't been uploading for anything but it's yeah it's uh doing doing good you know i mean that was the thing um yeah but like i said i had a lot going on and everything so i don't know it's been it's been really crazy um but I will go into more detail about it tomorrow in, um, uh, in the vlog, which will hopefully be up tomorrow, so I can get you guys uh, up to date on everything. And, uh, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, leave a like, comment, and say, um, definitely gonna make this a whole series. Probably gonna start recording the next video. But, um, yeah. I always love those at series. It's 
started this song, and keep going back to it. Um, I just love to get into games like this, because it's like, you know, you do what, you finish the mission how you want, basically. You know, it's just, it's always fun. Um, but, that's it for this video. Like I said, like, comment, whatever. Subscribe if you're new. Um, this outro is really dragging. Stay frosty, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Whatever I'm. Wow, I fucked that up. In a future, ep in a future episode of Whatever I Made.